Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are exploring a Japanese criminal, Yukio Yamaji, who committed one of the most unimaginable crimes, matricide, and demonstrated the flaws in the Japanese legal system. Yukio Yamaji was born on the 21st of August 1983 in Yamaguchi City in Yamaguchi Prefecture. He was born into a poor family. His father frequently changed jobs, was an alcoholic and beat his mother. Yamaji also committed violence as a child. He had difficulty as a child due to his family's poverty as his family was unable to pay for his teaching materials. He also had very few friends in school. When he was aged 11, his father died of cirrhosis in January 1995. While in junior high school, he gained the nickname of the devil and tended to be absent throughout much of the second year of junior high school and spent two thirds of the year absent during his final year of junior high school, including refusing to participate in school excursions. Graduating from junior high school, he dropped out of school at the age of 16. Initially finding difficulty to get work, he then began working in a newspaper store. During 2000, his mother gained an increased amount of debt, with the family forced to apply for welfare, as they were behind on their rent and water bills. Yamaji learnt about this in June. On the 27th and 28th of July, he was absent from work at the news agency for the first time. On the evening of the 28th of July 2000, he began talking with colleagues and telling them about his mother being dead. On the 29th of July 2000, he got into a fight with his mother, who was listening into calls he had made to a girl that he liked. He murdered his mother with a metal baseball bat by hitting her in the head, face and chest. He then took a shower, masturbated and ejaculated after murdering his mother. Two days later at 1am on the 31st of July 2000, he telephoned the police, told them that he murdered his mother and was arrested. Initially sentenced to jail, despite the horror and callous nature of his crimes, he was paroled in October 2003. However, his bloodlust followed him and he was not rehabilitated. Around February 2005, he joined a gang in Fukuoka, which illegally stole coins from poker machines. In November, the gang moved to Osaka, with Yamaji following them. On the 16th of November 2005, he extinguished the electricity in the room of one of two sisters, a 27 and 19 year old woman who lived together in Nanai Ku, a ward in central Osaka. Utilizing a switch in the switchboard, he turned off the electricity twice. On the 17th of November 2005, at 2.30am, the 27-year-old lady returned home from work at a restaurant. Yamaji knocked on the door and the lady opened it. Piercing her chest with a 12 centimeter knife, he took off her pants and underwear and raped her. When the second sister returned 10 minutes later, he pierced her chest with a knife and raped her next to her sister. He then went to smoke cigarettes on the balcony of the apartment and then stabbed the sister's chests again, killing them both. He then robbed the sisters of about 5,000 Japanese yen, about 50 US dollars in today's money, consisting of coins from purses and a piggy bank, and fled. The two sisters were discovered and taken to a hospital, but died shortly after they arrived. On the 5th of December 2005, Yamaji was arrested by police in Osaka. His motivation was, in his own words, I could not forget the feeling when I killed my mother and wanted to see human blood. He also compared killing people for him to the normalcy of going shopping. A psychological examination found that he suffered from antisocial personality disorder, schizophrenic personality disorder and sexual sadism. His trial commenced in the Osaka District Court on the 1st of May 2006. One year after his arrest on the 13th of December 2006, the Osaka District Court sentenced Yamaji to death. His defense launched an appeal, but he requested that his lawyers retract his appeal as he believed that he deserved the death penalty. On the 28th of July 2009, Yamaji was executed by hanging alongside Hiroshi Maue at the Osaka Detention Center in Mayakojima, Ku, Osaka. We did a video earlier on serial killer Hiroshi Maue, 
So if you want to know more about his crimes, please go ahead and check that video out. At the age of 25, Yamaji remains the youngest person executed in Japan since 1972, when Misayo Katagiri, pictured, was executed for a 1965 shooting spree in Zama, Kanagawa Prefecture, which claimed one life and caused 17 injuries. Katagiri was also aged 25 at the time of his execution. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.